magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. What could possibly go wrong? I'll be waiting for you in the ruins. Please hurry. And remember, riches beyond imagining. Cassia. That's close enough. Who are you? Oh, it's you. I'm so glad you're here. Look, I don't know how much time we have left. My brother went down this shaft a few days ago and I'm worried. I need you to go in after him and bring him back to me alive. Altrius went down the shaft, but he asked me to stay here. I figured you'd be interested in exploring these ruins, so I asked a courier to track you down. And here you are. I knew I could count on you. Now quickly, go. If you are reading this, you stand at the entrance to an ancient dwarven city. No doubt you have never heard of it, for in all my travels and all my study, I have never read of it in any text, save for the inscription here. It reads, Those who seek refuge will find peace here, basking in the sun under the ground. Those who seek gold will find riches beyond imagining, but will pay for this folly with their lives, for there is no return to the world of man. Is it possible there is life down there? Is it possible the dwarves are still alive after all this time? As I stand here on this precipice, war raging all over Tamriel, my mind is made up. Today, I take a leap of faith. Beloved reader, perhaps one day you will join me. Consider this an invitation or a warning. Ominous!
I am so sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, that you will share my fate. I have spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. But there are only two choices. Death, or the door to the house on the lake. I made the mistake of opening that door. I thought I could help them, if I found the right one, but whatever I did, it took me right back to that lake house. In the end, all I learned is that some things are worse than death. I urge you to learn from my mistakes. Best to take your own life now, than find out what awaits you beyond that door. I've locked it and hidden the key. I'll guard it with my eternal soul if I have to. But I fear even that will not be enough. For the lake house calls to you. And when it does, you must not listen. Altrius. was in your shoes once, a lifetime ago. I remember the way the lake house calls to you. I thought to myself, do I want to die in here alone? Or do I want to open that door? It seems like a simple choice, and yet, in the end, death was the better option all along. Please, understand, I locked the lake house door to stop you from making the same mistake I made. And now, you ignore my words and come searching for the key. Stay away. I hid that key for a reason. Seven years ago, I discovered this wondrous city, uninhabited. Others soon followed, heeding my invitation, and our community grew and prospered under my rule. But as I write this, I am alone once again, for my subjects have been the victims of an unspeakable atrocity. This is why, at the expense of my own life, I must open a portal that will take you into the past before all this began. Beloved reader, you must go back, investigate what set this atrocity in motion, and prevent it by any means necessary.
Where did you come from? Strange. It looks like you just came out of the Jarl's private lake house. Yeah, well, just make sure you don't get lost in anyone else's home. Live by our laws here, and we'll all get along just fine. Don't hurt anyone, don't steal anything. Same as anywhere else. Only the punishment here is much, much worse. The Jarl can tell you more, and help you get settled in. I can take you to him if you like. Above us is the sun under the ground. It's strange and no substitute for the real sun, of course, but these days it doesn't bother me. Yeah, you're a really big man, aren't you? <laughs> Milk drinker. You should come for a drink at my tavern, the Golden Sentinel, tonight. Just about everyone's there after dark. Only 24 of us at the moment. 23 if you don't come around us. Who's halfway to the next life? Loki is barely managing to keep him alive. This is the Citadel, where the Jarl and his guests live. Gulva, what do you think you're doing? You're meant to be working the Jarl's farm, not trudging dirt into his Citadel. Shulman, take it easy, would you? Who's just showing our new friend here to the Jarl? Well, how about you get back to work, and I take our new friend the rest of the way? If you don't work, none of us eat, Gulva. Remember that. How could I forget? Fine, I'll get back to work. I'm sorry about that. That probably sounded a bit harsh, but it's my job to make sure we all have enough to eat. I'm Yorman. Most people are pretty friendly, though, and so they should be. This is the closest you'll get to Sovereign Guard in all of Tamriel. No crime, no conflict. Most folk don't even bother locking the doors. Even if you could steal something without breaking the Dwarves' law, it's not as if you could sell it to anyone here. Brawl down in the city, our resident expert about the history and laws of the Dwemer. Last I heard, they were trying to track down some Dwarven artifacts. Should ask Brawl about it, if you're into that sort of thing. Alright, so we're about to meet Yal Metellus. Yal Metellus. Yal Metellus. There's a couple of things you should know about him, if you want to make a good impression. First, he was the first one here. Well, he was here before the rest of us anyway. So the Citadel is his, and where are all his guests? Second, he's very protective of this place, and won't tolerate anyone disturbing the peace. So be on your best behaviour, and you should be fine. The bathhouse is off limits. And I'm not even sure what's behind the gold door. Oh, the Yarl has ever gone in there. You're on your own from here. There's a face I don't recognize. Welcome to my city. I'm Yarl Metellus. Since you're here for good, you'll need some quarters. Here's a key to the last vacant chambers down in the city, between Brawl and Luki. It's all yours. I sent you here. I... I'm not sure what you mean. This is my handwriting. The victims of an unspeakable atrocity. I will open a portal that will take you into the past. You must go back. This... this is real, isn't it? My letter makes no mention of what caused the disaster. I suppose I was in a hurry. So tell me, what's going to happen to us? Exactly what I saw when I first discovered this place several years ago. It seems whatever happened then is going to happen again. I think it has something to do with the dwarves' law. The dwarves who built this place left inscriptions. This warning keeps coming up. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. But someone's about to break that law. I need you to investigate the city, talk to my people, help them. If it'll win their trust, you can even go through their possessions if you have to. You must work out who is going to break the Dwarves' law. 
Once you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. As Yao, I authorize you to go anywhere you need to go, including private homes. But if someone asks you to leave, you should do so immediately. Thank you. Now, you mustn't tell anybody where you're from, or what may be about to happen here. People do foolish things when they panic. quality armor. You must stop this from happening. Where did you come from? What are you talking about? I've never met you. I... Uh, you're right. I was. How could you have possibly known that? Is that some kind of sorcerer? Uh, well, I don't want any trouble. Let me get out of your way. Um, Let's forget this happened, shall we? So tell me, what's going to happen to us? So the dwarves' lore is real, after all. Just as we always suspected. But you know who broke it? Who was the culprit? Sins 
of the One. Hi there. You gave me a bit of a fright. I thought I was in here alone. Someone with your name appeared in the city out of the lake house. Said hardly a word to anyone. Walked up to the Jarl and murdered him. Breaking some kind of ancient law. It said this triggered a horrific event which killed everyone in the city. While the stranger just disappeared in a flash of light. I... I'm not sure I understand. Uh, I'm sorry, come again. Um, let me see that. Gods, this is my handwriting. I have spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles. This is, this is horrible. But I, I don't understand how I could have written it. I... I'm not sure I understand. So, you're saying, because you stopped a time portal from being opened, I never went through it. And that's why I don't remember any of this. I guess you saved my life then. But... Look at all the death and destruction you've caused. There must have been another way. And now you and I are going to have to live with the knowledge of what happened here for the rest of our lives. I almost wish you'd just let me die. I've been ready to get out of here from the moment I set foot in this place. I have one idea. There might be a way out through the bathroom, through the pipes that bring water into the city. There's a cracked wall. I'm not strong enough. But I think if you hit it really hard with a mace or a warhammer, we might be able to escape through there. It's this way. in there for a while. If you hadn't sent your friend in to help me, I would have been trapped down there for good. And that place gives me the creeps. It's littered with burnt corpses. And the whole time I was down there, I felt like I was being watched. Thank you so much for bringing him back in one piece. I really thought I'd lost him. I can't thank you enough. There must have been another way. Volatile and dangerous. Zero one 
If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, 